The show starts in three, two, one, go. Yes, man, I could take care of that. Don't worry about it. Dr. Assassin could take care of that. Listen, minister. If you're feeling tired, it's probably from doing nothing. <laughs> you know when you're doing nothing, you can't stop to rest. Yes. Headache? Come on, minister, you can't get no headache. You need a brain to get a headache. <laughs> yeah. Oh, listen, I gotta go, I gotta go. Hi, I am Dr. Assassin. Assassin. Welcome to Clinic Rebirth. Well, we just celebrated Father's Day the other day, and today I got message for all men, particularly fathers. Whether you're father, grandfather, godfather, stepfather, was a father, could have been a father, or just a given father. I got the right advice for you. Now, men are the stronger sex. Men are generally healthier than women. Because men don't get pregnant. Men don't get period. Men don't suffer from fibroid. Men don't get breast cancer. So men are healthier than women. But men, you have to do your regular checkups. Yes, sometimes we feel we macho. We don't want to do no checkup. But you have to check up regularly. Make it your business to check your real estate every year. Go to the doctor and tell him to check your real estate. Uh, not real estate, it's um, uh, um, prostate. Yeah, I know it was some state, okay? Let them check your prostate. It's an easy exam. You could come to Dr. Assassin. I could do it for you too, okay? I just put on my glove, fix up myself, and I will check your prostate. If things bad, I could check your kidney and your heart at the same time too. So make sure do your checkup, okay? Now, men always practice safe sex. What does that mean? I don't mean you have to save your sex. It means practice safe sex. Most people will tell you, wear a condom. That is safe. But a condom can protect you if you get catch in another man's house. <laughs> so don't think condom is always safe. But you've got to live a healthy life. There are certain things you have to do, like exercise, and certain things you don't do. Do not smoke. Don't smoke marijuana. Don't smoke cigarette. Don't smoke, don't smoke the smoke from the dump. Don't <laughs> smoke, period. Okay? Drink. Don't drink. Keep away from whiskey. Keep away from rum and definitely don't touch corona, okay? And don't use drugs unless it is prescribed by a pharmacist or it's from one of those experts you find in the dark alleys in town, okay? And don't drink and drive. Now, when they tell you don't drink and drive, what they mean is don't drink and drive at the same time. My advice to you is, Drink first, drive after. But don't try both of them at the same time because police don't want you multitasking, okay? So don't drink and drive at the same time. Eat healthy. Yes, you gotta be careful with what you're eating. The prime minister told us, eat sardine, crackers, cereal, oats. Those things are good for you. Prime minister should have been minister of health. Yes, she gave you good information. And watch what you're eating. Keep away from pork. Be careful with pork. Do not eat pork from every and anybody. Because I see some people got some pork so dirty, nasty. Do not eat that, okay? Keep away from pork. Eat things like iguanas, monkeys, and rats. That way, you'll be helping the environment. Get rid of those animals, okay? And I would recommend everybody do 
and exercise every day. Don't strain your body to kill yourself, but exercise. Get up in the morning, go for a walk. And if you're walking, right, don't walk in areas where you got a lot of dogs because you won't be walking, you'll be running for your life, okay? Especially them pit bulls. Do push-ups. Yes, you get on on your hand and you do push-ups. When you're doing push-up, make sure there's nobody under you and nobody on top of you, okay? Then, like I said, take a walk every day. Walk somewhere, go someplace. You know, wives care about their husbands and they will tell them, why you don't go for a walk? You know, so go for a walk. Don't do like my good friend. He went for a walk Monday morning, he came back Friday afternoon. <laughs> not that kind of walk. That's not healthy when you reach back home. And if you want to do anything, um, do sit-ups. Yes, you lie down flat on your back and you come up, you do sit-ups. Now, if you lie down flat on your back and you can't see your toes, Forget about it. <laughs> Sit up ain't gonna help you. You've got to be able to see your toes. Okay? So, exercise, eat well, don't smoke. And I could tell you about smoking because my grandfather used to smoke a pack of cigarettes every day. And the doctor tell him, Sir, cigarettes going to kill you. Stop smoking. Well, he stopped smoking for two weeks. And after that, a cigarette truck knocking down and killing. <laughs> so cigarettes still killing. So keep away from cigarettes. It's not good. Now, if you decide not to take my advice and you go do contrary to what I recommend, I have, and you end up having to go to the hospital, then I will tell you, walk with a death certificate. <laughs> Just leave in the date of death and so you don't give the nurses no trouble or anything like that. And you know these last days, they're striking and demonstrating. They ain't got time to look after you. So if you don't take my advice, you end up in the hospital, walk with your death certificate and have them sign it, okay? Because my grandmother always used to say, who don't hear must feel. So take my advice. Live long, live strong, and please the women, okay? Because that's what men are alive for. <laughs> and only please your woman. Don't go wrong pleasing other people, woman, because that could be a health hazard. <laughs> Especially if you're small and the other man is big. You want advice on how to look for a woman? Dr. Assassin could help you with that too. Always ask the woman if she is in a relationship. If she say yes, don't let that be a deterrent. Ask her, what is your boyfriend's name? Now, if she says something like, his name is Irvin, but they call him Killer. <laughs> Don't talk to she. Okay? So, Dr. Assassin is always there to give you advice in all areas. Healthcare, being healthy, how to take care of yourself, and how to live a healthy life. I got all those dumb packs. Now, these are some of the questions that I got. Let me see. Yeah. What really causes menopause? Menopause. Menopause. Menopause and menostop are basically the same thing. But when it gets real bad, is when no men coming at you, and then they call that men no come. <laughs> Next question. What is cardiovascular disease? Carlos Vascular. Carlos Vascular. I really don't know him, but he sounds Spanish to me. <laughs> Keep away from him. Next question. What would you recommend to someone who has high blood pressure, Diabetes, cervical cancer, kidney stones, and just had a stroke. Rest in peace, my brother. Next question. Is the Saharan dust harmful? Well, 
If the smoke from the dump ain't kill you, I don't think the Saharan dust will kill you. So, if you have any questions or need advice from Dr. Assassin, just write to me at drassassin at extratight.com and I could answer all your questions, give you advice to anything that you may need. Just remember, write to me, okay? Hey, I will see you again next time. Thank you for coming to my clinic, Clinic Rebirth, and we will see you again. I am Dr. Assassin. Assassin. Minister, you still there? Hello? He ain't got no patience, man. But I do. This is an extra tight entertainment production.